right where you are. I'm going to get over this, I'm telling you. I don't know the last time I slept through the night, but I, I will get over it. I'm somewhere between not eating and overeating. But I will get over it. I vacillate between wanting to be around people and being by myself. But I, but I will get over it. I'm somewhere in the pendulum of praying and fasting and giving God the silent treatment. But I will get over it. I'm not telling you you're going to be a millionaire. I'm not telling you your name is going to be in lights or your account is going to be verified. All I'm telling you is that you're getting ready to come out of this stronger than you were before it. You're going to bend under life's pressures, but you are not going to break. The prophetic word that God has for your life going into 21, there is nothing you can't come back from. There's nothing in this earth that has more power than the destiny over your life. I will get over this. I want you to lay hands on yourself. I want to pray for you. I'm believing God for you. It took a minute for you to get to this moment. But God had to purge you with hyssop. He, he had to squeeze you out of you. He had to reorientate your expectation. The friends of Job asked him, do you think the God you serve can only bless? You, 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 you don't know that he reigns on the just and the unjust. I, I don't know where you are, but I feel your spirit crying on the other side of that screen. You will get over this. I'm telling you, you, you had to bury some relatives this year. You had to deal with some legal things this year. You, you had to downsize without downgrading. You had to make some adjustments that you didn't see coming. But I swear to God, you're going to get over this. I want you to lay hands on your heart, please. I want to pray that God will perform open heart surgery on your life, on your spirit on your expectation, hear this, on your faith. That you ain't gonna have to wait till midnight to pray. That prayer's not gonna be your last resort. That worship will not be on a shelf in case of emergency. But all 21, I want worship to be your go-to. I don't wait for everything else to fail. But even if I got to make the side of my bed the altar, even if I got to pull over in my car and give God worship, I will. I promise. Watch. Watch me. I will get over this. Lord, I pray for my friend. I pray for your child, your servant. I pray for that mom, that dad, that husband, that wife, that brother, that coworker, that colleague. I pray for that one who's bringing in the new year alone. I pray for the one who is celebrating with people that they question. I pray for those who have had nobody check on them. I pray for those who feel like they always have to defend themselves. I pray for those who are second guessing their assignment and the oil on their life. God, I pray you open doors for them open doors for them because of their worship it's not too late open doors for them but not just them like you did for Paul and Silas open doors for every person connected to them that it shall come to pass and God we give you glory we give you praise we give you thanksgiving come on let's celebrate them now only clap if you believe you're going to get over it only clap if you believe a door is going to open for you only celebrate them if you believe it's not too late. It's going to work in my favor. Let's 
listen to me. It's turning around. It's turning around for me. It's not too late for you to get to God. Paul and Silas were arrested in the middle of the afternoon. But they didn't worship till midnight. You were at the midnight of your own life. And I want you to get saved today. I want you to give your life over to God. I want you to get connected to this church called New Birth. I'm telling you, you are aligned with a company of believers who have had some 430 moments, some 630 experiences, some 1030 crises. But at midnight, we came out of it. I want to be your pastor. I want New Birth to be your church. I want Jesus to be your Lord. I want heaven to be your home. If you can hear my voice and your soul resonates with what it is that I suggest, I don't want you to delay it. I don't want you to hesitate. I don't want you to deliberate. I want you to come while you still have time. I need you to give it all over to our God. Let me ask all of you if we can. I want us to give a sizable, a substantive, and a significant seed over to our God. I'm going to challenge 52 of you to give a seed of 365. I want 52 of you to give a seed of $365. 52 of you. I need you to do that. Why? Because I am believing every day in 2021 a door is going to be open. I am believing, hear this, that every day God is going to manifest some sign of what he has promised. 52 of you, I want you to give a seed of 365. I want 365 of you to give a seed of 52. You're saying, Pastor, I'm believing that every week God is going to do it. That seven days will not pass without me seeing a door open. Without God, here it is, not waiting till midnight to deliver me. But in the middle of the day, I want God to not wait for Sundays for my breakthrough. But even on a Thursday, even on a Friday, even on a Wednesday, I want God to do it for me. It is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do it for you. That, that's the good news of the harmony that you hear under me. It won't always be like this. Come on, God is going to perfect it. Come on, let's sing it together. Sooner or later, Sooner or later it's going to work in my faith. Come on, it's turning around. Turning around. In your living room, in your bedroom. Come on, would you just turn around right there? It won't always. It won't always be like. to lift up both of your hands. I want to speak blessing and benediction over your life for 2021. I'm going to speak blessing and benediction over your life. 21 is the age that you are legal. 21 is the age that you are legal. I want you to receive this blessing that God deposited in me even while I stand in this moment. I speak over every listening ear that for the year of 2021, every month you will have a miracle. 2021, every month you will have a miracle. Every week you will be a witness 
to what God is able to do. Every day you will experience deliverance and divine provision. Every hour the Holy Spirit will hover around your home. Every second you will be closer to your success. And I declare it to be so. In Jesus' name, amen. Your pastor loves you. Happy New Year. The best is yet to come. You're going to see miracles. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see a miracle. You're going to see miracles. You're going to see You're going to see You're going to see miracles. You're going to see miracles. You're going to see You're going to see Prophets out over yourself. You're going to see miracles. In 2021. You're going to see You're going to see You're going to see You're going to see miracles and healing and blessings.
Everybody in the house, come on, let's just raise our worship without the music strings, come on. Ha, ha, ha. 